Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Brielle Bierman won't choose side amid parents' divorce. Brielle Bierman won't choose sides amid her parents' divorce. The 26-year-old daughter of Bravo alums Kim Zolciak and Croy Bierman. Despite being the eldest daughter of the two, she has chosen to stay away from the situation, even though her actions say differently. Read on for more details. It's only been a short time since Kim Zolchak and Croy Bierman announced that they were getting divorced. Unfortunately, it has turned quite contentious. Kim initially wanted physical and primary custody, while Croy wanted sole custody of their four minor children. Then she wanted her estranged husband to get drug tested while he accused her of having a gambling problem and felt she needed a mental evaluation. Yet, aside from their four young children together, they also have two adult daughters. Kim had Ariana and Briel Bierman prior to meeting Croy. Eventually, Croy adopted Ariana and Briel, and they became an extremely happy family. Sadly, when Kim Zolchak and Croy Bierman filed for divorce, it seemed the girls had to choose sides. Quite quickly, Briel unfollowed Croy on Instagram while Ariana seemed to stay on good footing with him. Now she seems to be following him again and appears she will not be taking sides either way. According to In Touch Weekly, a source spoke to us weekly and had this to say, Everybody knows that Briel and Kim's bond is unbreakable, so it was natural for her to take her mom's side when they filed for divorce. This explains why she unfollowed Croy on Instagram after the filing. However, it seems that she took time to think about the situation and is not going to side with the either parent. The source continued. After taking some time to take a step back and reevaluate things, Briel loves her dad too. Croy has been there for her in every way and has shown her nothing but love since he came into her life. So Briel decided to refollow him because she's not going to take sides in her parents' separation. She loves them both. Croy Bierman stepped up for Ariana and Brielle Bierman when they needed a father figure. It was clear on Reggae OA and the spin-off, Don't Be Tardy, that they quickly took to him. He adored them and never made them feel like they were not biologically his. Now they are showing their appreciation through Father's Day posts celebrating him. It seems like they will just have to find a happy medium so they can be there for their mother and still love Croy. Briel Bierman was no stranger to the limelight. As the daughter of reality TV stars Kim Zolchik Bierman and Croy Bierman, she had grown up with cameras documenting every pivotal moment of her life. But even with her experiences on The Real Housewives of Atlanta and Don't Be Tardy, nothing could have prepared her for the storm that was brewing behind closed doors. Her parents' divorce, the one that was splashed across every headline and dissected in every tabloid, was far from the glamorous life she had grown accustomed to. It was raw, painful, and agonizingly public. But if there was one thing Brielle knew, it was that she wasn't going to choose sides. In the days following the announcement of her parents' split, Brielle found herself the center of attention. Reporters hounded her for comments, fans bombarded her social media, and even some close family members tried to nudge her in one direction or another. The pressure was mounting, but Brielle remained firm. This wasn't her battle to fight. She sat in the quiet corner of her living room one afternoon, scrolling through her phone as notifications buzzed incessantly. Instagram comments, DMs, even texts from friends all seemed to revolve around the same question. Whose side are you on? The words echoed in her mind, repeating over and over like a broken record. She sighed heavily, tossing her phone aside. It wasn't that she didn't have her own opinions about what was happening between Kim and Croy. She did. Briel had always been fiercely protective of her family, but this, this was complicated. Her mother, Kim, had been her rock, her confidant, her best friend. But Croy, 
the man who had adopted her as his own, had given her the stability and love she needed growing up. How could she possibly be expected to choose between the two people she loved most in the world? As the weeks passed, Briel became more introspective. She began to notice subtle shifts in her parents' behavior. Kim was more withdrawn, less of the bubbly personality everyone knew her for. Meanwhile, Croy was tense, keeping his emotions locked tight behind a stoic exterior. The atmosphere in their once vibrant home had turned cold, and every interaction between them seemed to be tinged with bitterness. Briel didn't know what had caused the rift, not entirely. Sure, she had heard the rumors, financial troubles, trust issues, arguments about the kids. But none of it felt real to her. How had things spiraled so far out of control? She longed for the days when their biggest problems were what to wear to a red carpet event or what shade of blonde to dye their hair next. Sitting in her room one night, Briel couldn't help but reflect on the countless family dinners they had shared, the vacations to exotic locations, the laughter that once filled their home. She wondered if her parents were doing the same, thinking about the good times, regretting how things had turned out. But regret wasn't going to fix anything now. The divorce was happening, and no amount of reminiscing could stop it. Yet despite the hurt, Brielle wasn't ready to pick sides. Both of her parents had been there for her in different ways, and she wasn't about to let the divorce force a wedge between them or drag her into a toxic back and forth. In fact, she had made a conscious decision to focus on being neutral, not out of indifference, but out of love. She believed that taking sides would only deepen the divide, and that wasn't something she was willing to contribute to. The media didn't see it that way, of course. Headlines screamed of a family at war, and rumors circulated about Briel being caught in the middle. There were articles speculating that she and her sister Ariana had already taken Kim's side, citing their close bond with their mom as proof. But Briel remained silent, refusing to validate the noise around her. It wasn't that Briel didn't feel the strain, she did. The divorce was a constant undercurrent in her life now, always there, lurking in the background. There were moments when she felt angry, sad, or confused, but she kept those feelings private, confiding only in a few close friends. She knew the tabloids were watching her every move, waiting for her to make a statement, but she wasn't going to give them that satisfaction. One afternoon, Briel received a call from her mom. Kim's voice was quieter than usual, a sign that things weren't going well. Briel could sense the pain behind her words, but she also knew that Kim wasn't asking her to choose sides, at least, not directly. It was more of a plea for support, for understanding. Kim was struggling, and she needed her daughter. But Briel's relationship with Croy was just as complicated. Despite the tension between him and Kim, he had always been a father figure to her. He had been there for the milestones, the heartbreaks, and the triumphs. He had given her a sense of security she hadn't known before. Briel couldn't ignore that, and she wasn't going to abandon him now, even though their relationship had become strained. In the end, Briel knew that the only way to survive this emotional storm was to stay true to herself. She wasn't going to let the divorce define her relationship with either of her parents. It wasn't her place to mediate or to fix what had been broken between them. That was something only they could do. And so, Briel made a promise to herself. She would love her parents equally, even if they couldn't love each other anymore. She would be there for both of them, but on her own terms. This wasn't about picking a side or taking a stand. This was about navigating the chaos with grace, dignity, and a sense of loyalty to herself. As Briel sat back and watched the sun set through the window, she felt a sense of peace wash over her. No matter what happened next, she was confident in her decision. She wouldn't choose sides, because in the end, family wasn't about choosing who was right or wrong. It was about finding a way to hold on to love, 
even when everything else was falling apart.